Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus. I'm going to set it up and share how I use it with some of my favorite apps and what I think about it. I pre-ordered this as soon as it came out on launch date and I'm really excited that it's finally here. It comes in three different screen sizes and I went for the S9 Plus which sits in the middle at 12.4 inches. I chose this size because I will be mostly using it at my desk so I'm not too worried about portability and it's also not as huge as the S9 Ultra. I got the 256GB storage option and out of the two color choices beige and graphite I went for beige. I was disappointed the pink gold color from the S8 series didn't make its way over to the S9, but having seen this color in person, I say this looks more like silver than beige, and I think this is a very nice classic shade. In terms of specs compared to the S8, it has a faster processor, improved quad speakers and battery life, and a more durable body with IP68 water resistance. It's still super thin, and I absolutely love the sleek design. It comes with the S Pen, which is also water resistant, and you can now charge it both ways on the back of the tablet. I like the color of the beige S Pen, which looks similar to the Apple Pencil, and here's the two of them side by side. Next, I'm going to set up my new tablet, and I love to customize my home screen, so I'll quickly go through the different widgets I have on here. I made this scrollable picture stack using simple photo widget, and you can use any images from your gallery. I also have a clock widget where you can set an alarm, as well as this weather widget. This widget is for keeping track of daily habits, and you can tick them off directly on the home screen. I also have a to-do list, and both of these are from TickTick app. There's some amazing apps available on the Samsung tablet, and I'll share with you some of my favorites. Moon Reader is an amazing app for reading ebooks. I love the visual bookshelf and the page flip animations, and there's a ton of customization options. My favorite app for digital planning, journaling, and note taking is Penly, and here I'm using my planner that comes with the app, but you can import any PDF file. If you're not familiar with digital planning, this is a hyperlinked PDF file with tabs and buttons that allow you to quickly jump between pages, and you can handwrite using the S Pen. It's easy to add stickers and photos, and you can automatically convert handwriting into font using the S Pen to Text feature. I like that I can create my own hyperlinks between pages and quickly bulk import stickers into the images panel. For students, you can custom create any color note templates, and this is a really useful feature if you like taking aesthetic notes. This is my most used app on the Samsung tablet, and if you want to find out more about digital planning, then check out my beginner's tutorial video or my Penly Plan With Me's. Infinite Painter is a drawing app, and I use this to make digital stickers for my shop. You can work on different layers, and there's plenty of brush options. I also have Pentastic for S Pen customization. You can change the appearance of the Air Command panel and personalize the pointer. I share more of my favorite apps in my What's on my Galaxy Tab video, so check that out if you want to see more. The Galaxy Tab has some great features, and I'll show you some of my favorites. Multitasking works really well, and you can drag and drop apps to create a split-screen window. I use this feature all the time to add images into my digital planner or notes, and you can just drag and drop from the web or from the gallery. You can also long press on an object to lift it out of the background, and I absolutely love this feature because the edges are so much cleaner than what I could crop out by hand. You can multitask with up to three apps at the same time and resize any of the windows. There's also pop-up view, which lets you have a floating window, and you're able to move this anywhere on the screen. Here I have a pop-up calculator, and you can resize the window and even change the transparency. You can handwrite in search bars and web browsers, and this is really convenient if you work a lot with the S Pen in hand. The side panel lets you quickly access apps, contacts, tasks, and other information, and if you have something saved to the clipboard, you can easily drag and drop this into other apps. As part of the Galaxy ecosystem, you can also copy and paste the text and images between a tablet and a phone, and here you can see I've copied some text on my phone, and this automatically appears on the clipboard on my tablet. The Galaxy Tab can also be used as a second display for your computer if you need the extra screen space, and you're able to control both screens using the same mouse or trackpad. And then there's Dex Mode, which gives you a more desktop-like interface. You have a mouse cursor, taskbar at the bottom, and resizable windows for that desktop experience. 
I'm upgrading from the S7 Plus tablet, so I already have some accessories and I thought I'd try them out in case they fit. I love these silicone pen sleeves because they provide better grip for handwriting and helps to protect the S Pen. It looks to be the same size as the previous year's models, so I was happy to find that my old pen sleeve still fits. What doesn't fit, however, is my S7 Plus tablet case, and this is because the S9 Plus is a tiny bit larger this year. So I need to get a new case, and here's what I have my eye on. I'm also excited to try out this paper feel screen protector to see if it helps with handwriting, because I do find it more difficult to write neatly on the smooth screen surface. A paper fill screen protector can wear down the S Pen nib, but I believe you're able to change them out. I also have this tablet stand that I use all the time and Bluetooth keyboards for typing in my digital planner and journal. In addition to the apps I already mentioned, I also played a couple of games and everything ran pretty smoothly. I didn't notice any lagging or other problems. As for the battery life, I've only had it for a couple of days, but I have been using it intensively with different apps, and I feel like the battery life is noticeably better compared to my S7 Plus, and even my M2 iPad Pro, which I've now had for a year, but this could partly be due to it being a newer device. The speakers sound decent to me, and here's a short sound clip from one of my YouTube videos. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very casual plan with me done in real time. The S9 series tablets also have a new vision booster technology that makes the screen appear more vibrant under bright sunlight, and I think you can tell the difference here compared to the S7 Plus. As for the camera quality, I personally don't think it's anything amazing, but I hardly use this anyways. I think the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus is an amazing device, and I recommend it if you don't already own a Samsung tablet. I mainly use mine for digital planning, journaling, note-taking, reading and drawing, and I think the S9 Plus works really well for these things and has some great features. I'm upgrading from the S7 Plus because any new Android updates are not expected to come to this model, and I do want to be able to make use of them when they come out. In terms of features and functionality, however, I feel like most of the things I can do on the S9 Plus, I could already do on the S7 Plus, so I do wish there was more of an upgrade from the previous year's models. If you already own the S7 or S8 series tablets, then I don't think the S9 is an absolutely necessary upgrade unless you want to be future-proofed for new Android updates like I do. Anyways, if you're thinking about getting a Galaxy Tab S9 or if you already own one, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. I hope you found this video useful and don't forget to check out my other Samsung videos and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Thanks for watching!